Hey guys, Feeding Frenzy here again, coming at you with another video. This is going to be part three, and I hope I can keep this short and sweet and not get too excited and jump all over the place, because that's really what I want to do. I'm so excited about aquaponics and um, just, just hanging out and uh, hopefully educating you guys, especially the beginners. That's really the point right now where I'm at with this YouTube channel, is really just taking my time to slow down for you guys, because I'm still a beginner. Um, even with two and a half years of experience, so I want to I want to show you guys, or actually I want to remind you where we left off with the nitrifying acid in your system and bacteria, and that's what you should be seeing, folks. If it's been two months, three months, and you're not seeing your acid drop in your system or the um, the pH drop to an acidic level in your system, uh, something's buffering your water, and you're going to need to understand what it is before you can progress into truly understanding everything. You can combat it. I don't know why you would want to struggle with that issue. I, I want full control over my pH. Uh, that's how I feel about aquaponics. I don't want to just, oh, well, it's just whatever it is. No, I want to make it what it is, but still allowing the system to flow and function properly because that's really what you're going to do. You're, you're going to be told what to do based upon what your system is telling you. You just have to listen. And folks, I'm here to tell you, as beginners, that water chemistry thing and pH is very, very, very important. And the bacteria, they're all related, folks. Those three things are highly related. Again, fish are up there, but they can handle any pH you want, just not in massive swings. And your plants don't like massive swings either. Again, we're gonna get to the mistakes uh, video portion soon. I trust, trust me, folks, I can't wait to share with you the mistakes that I've made and to watch the resilience of this this system I mean you talking about the number one boneheaded thing not to do I did it and I did it big so I can't wait to share that with you guys so I'm gonna pick up the camera again I hope that it's not too shoddy of work and I hope you guys can hear me instead of a big goon and put my finger over the microphone so uh, I'm gonna walk you guys over to my grow beds now and try to just show you exactly what I have growing and how I got there and the, the reasonable amount of time that it took so I'm very proud of this, guys, and I'm very proud of my system and, and my fish. I'm very proud of them. But we also have to do our part, and I want to try to keep this subject matter of this video very short, but still cover the big nugget that I was missing in my journey with the beginnings of aquaponics, and that is uh, plant deficiency. And I'm going to show you some, or at least the illusion of some. Yes, that's right. It can be tricky, folks. Just because you see one deficiency doesn't mean that it's that you're that, that nutrient is not in your system. Okay, again, it's relevant to pH. Again, I'm gonna say if your pH is way too high, and when I say way too high, I think 7.0 is too high. Yes, it's good enough, but I want it to 6.0 to 6.4. That's the sweet spot. And again, we'll get into buffering it later. So I want to show you my cucumber. This thing has produced this year alone anywhere from 30 to 35 top quality cucumbers, okay? Yes, we are showing deficiency. Um, I believe that that looks like a calcium deficiency. That's what I think that one is. And the spots are definitely indications of calcium deficiency. Dead decaying tissue that, like this is uh, calcium deficiency. But you can see we're in pretty good shape. We're in pretty good shape. The new growth looks pretty good. And you want a soft feel to your leaves, folks. Uh, these these leaves feel good at least for right now so i'm going to show you what i've been pulling i hope you guys can see that in the shadows there that is two cucumbers that are almost ready for the picking and they'll get picked soon folks we have pulled 35 at least uh or at the most of these this season alone and i'll probably get at least another 30 off of it so um all you need is one cucumber plant in your system and uh, i would put it at the very very beginning of your system i think plant uh, placement in your system is very important and you can always play around with that I, to my to me there is no rule to that so I encourage you to play around with your plant um, placement in your system so I've had really good success with this one being in the front and these things are heavy feeders folks and that's what I want to talk about if you're growing worthwhile vegetables and when I say worthwhile I'm talking about fruiting vegetables the ones that we just love growing in our backyard cucumbers tomatoes peppers corn all that stuff folks that sucks down a lot of nutrients in your system okay and uh, it you will show deficiency and that's what I want to talk about folks aquaponics that's a good word but I'm here to tell you that it's hydroponics with fish that's my feeling on it 
It's hydroponics with fish. Look at, I want to show you something real quick. Folks, look at all this stuff. Okay? I, we'll go over all this later, but folks, it's hydroponics with fish. And uh, I hope that doesn't make anybody upset or step on any toes, but I'm going to dub it hydroponics with fish until I can come up with a better term. And especially if you're growing these fruiting vegetables, folks, you're going to supplement your system with something, okay? You're going to have chelated iron and, uh, you know, chelated, you can have, there's so many choices and I'm not a scientist, okay? I'm just going to show you what I've done and what's worked for me. But we'll get into that on, a, on another video in depth. But just know that it's leading up to you supplementing your system. So when your system, when your leaves are starting to show you something, you better react fast. Uh, because it could take anywhere from a week to three weeks to sh to for that difference to change from the naked eye. And that's really what we're going on here, folks. You're going to have to train your naked eye to understand what is happening with your plants and your fish. Uh, but then the bacteria levels, I mean, it's, it's folks, it, it, it's more than what you think it is, in my opinion. So I just want to be real with you. But I want to walk you back through this and just show you. Um, we've got cucumbers everywhere. I mean, here's one. Here's one. Uh, so so we, we've got plenty of cucumbers. I want to show you this broccoli. I hope you guys can see this. I mean, look at the size of this stalk. You know, I, I'm my hand's pretty good size. And I mean, this is a massive stalk of broccoli here, folks. So, and yeah, the caterpillars kind of got it. But you know what? I pick them off one by one. And uh, they get fed to my fish. So it's a beautiful thing. And um, so, yeah, we're going to have a pretty good size head of broccoli. My other broccoli took too much of a hit. And I just pulled it out. So, uh, here's what I'm most proud of: these tomatoes, folks. And when I can't, again, I can't wait to make the mistake video and sh and just share with you the massive mistake that I did. The number one no-no not to do. I I would love to see if you guys could guess what that is, uh, just to test your knowledge. What's the number one no-no to do um, with aquaponics in y'all's opinion what's the number one no no i would love to see what everybody's number one choice is be sure to make that the comment if you can folks but look at these tomatoes guys yes they they are not the biggest okay or no they are not the biggest but they sure are delicious folks and there's plenty of them to go around for me and my family and i'm super proud of them and i'm super proud of my system and my fish and uh this, this is what it feels like folks to watch all this hard work go into your system this is it this is the moment that you've been waiting for and um, we've had really good success folks and yes we've had some deficiencies and um, you're going I mean look at the size of these Roma tomatoes guys look at the size of these things they're huge I mean just look at them they're, they're awesome and uh, we're just eating tomatoes left and right and I'm gonna show you my peppers and yes, uh, we've got a deficiency, and it's hard to tell, folks. That's Again, we'll get into it a little bit more in depth on the next one, but I want to go over it at least with you. Um, and there's, a, there's actually a free key that I can send you guys through email, and you don't even have to pay for it. Um, I'll give it to you. If you guys will subscribe, I'll just give it to you. And uh, shoot, I'll give it to you even if you don't subscribe. I don't care. I just want you guys to have what you need for success. So this could be a potassium issue. Um, or a magnesium issue and that's what I want to talk about uh, in just a minute so before we close out this video I mean look at the basil folks look at this stuff. I, I should have pruned it back by now You ever seen a broccoli or a uh, okra? Well, here's okra. Here's what it looks like when it flowers I mean this this okra is huge. It's huge The peppers. I mean you should smell what I'm smelling right now guys. It, it's just it's wonderful to smell this stuff and to look at the fruits of our labor and just uh, be really ex excited about it. So now I'm gonna take you back to the corn. Um, you really can't see it. And uh, again, we're gonna have to go on a little walk here, so pardon the uh, bumpiness. But we're gonna, we're gonna go on back here. And uh, here's, the, uh, here's the back side of the cucumber, growing like crazy. I mean, it was right here just two days ago, folks. Uh, no joke. It was right here two days ago, and it's already down here. And folks, that's the beauty in these totes, man. This, this stuff gives you so much stuff to, for the plants and you to work with, all this material that you get. I say go with totes. Um, here, here's some cucumbers back here. We, I mean, there's just so many cucumbers, folks. And I really wanted to come back here and show you my broccoli. Or I'm sorry, I keep calling it broccoli. It's uh, my corn. And I didn't even think it would grow, folks. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I, I just threw some seeds in here 
and uh, just played around a little bit and it, it grew it grew like crazy I mean look at it guys I've got one stalk of corn um, two three four and, and then I wanted to show you guys this look at the root system look out look at what it wants to do I hope you guys can see this sorry about the camera work but uh, I've never again guys I'm not a gardener this thing allows me to garden in a safe environment in a controlled environment uh, here's another cucumber. Um, I mean, it's just unbelievable, folks, to see this development in such a young system. Look, we've got some some uh, lettuce, and that's the beauty in all this, guys. Just throw your seeds in wherever you want and play around with plant placement. I can't stress that enough. Play around with your plant placement, folks. Um, it's just it's it's just amazing to see all this stuff and all your hard work pay off, guys. It really is. So. I want to show you this, the back side of this. Look at the size of this okra, folks. I'm going to have to prune that uh, here uh, actually tonight. That's that's getting too big. Uh, here's, here's a flower. We can actually just go ahead and take that off. If you've ever wondered what okra looks like, it, it actually blossoms. This has closed back up, but this is what it looks like. And then this is the end result of it right here. So we, we're going to have some okra growing, and I've already harvested plenty of okra. Um, I mean look at look at the size of this stock folks look at it. It's it's huge It's absolutely massive. It's just unbelievable the growth in here uh, Leaves falling off. I would say that that is a magnesium problem We're starting to see a little bit of a magnesium problem with the basil I'm gonna prune it back and hopefully we can uh, get some nice regeneration going uh, Again, I'm gonna show you the tomatoes and guys just bear with me I'm just really proud of this this is and then I want you to, guys to know that you can have this too even with making massive massive mistakes guys okay and uh, I want to go over just one more thing with these deficiencies again Bruce Bruce move killing me he's laying on my cucumbers so I guess we're gonna end the video right there <laughs> and uh, you guys just subscribe and we'll get back into the um, the uh, nutrients of the plant and how it all functions in your system because you're going to need to be careful if you start supplementing you need to know exactly what you're doing okay so you guys keep feeding your fish keep building your systems and we'll get back to you on the next video